a very warm welcome to the show. My name is Isha Hanspal and with me is my colleague Raj Sonia Sharma. She will help us transcribe the news for us in the next half an hour. Let's begin with the headlines. At least 20 killed and dozens injured in Israeli airstrike on displaced Palestinian camps in southern Gaza. Israeli aircraft targeted the Al Mawasi refugee camp in west of Khan Yunus. Russian forces carry out massive shelling in Ukraine city of Kherson. The assault targeting the central Dnipro district lasted about an hour, but no one was hurt. Taiwan's Defence Ministry puts its air defence forces on alert after monitoring waves of missile tests in China's northern region of Inner Mongolia. Iran's president-elect Masood Pezeshkian says he looks forward to improved relations with Europe but accuses the continent of reneging on commitments to mitigate the impact of US sanctions. India's Ministry of Home Affairs amends the rules of the Jammu and Kashmir Reorganization Act to give more power to the Lieutenant Governor. The ministry notifies under rules under Section 55 of the Jammu and Kashmir Reorganization Act. US President Joe Biden signs the Resolve Tibet Act to promote dialogue between China and the Dalai Lama for peaceful resolution of the long-standing dispute between Tibet and Beijing. Rescuers in Nepal are using sonar devices to find survivors after two passenger buses with over 60 people plunged into the river due to a landslide caused by heavy rain. For all the latest news, download the Weon app and subscribe to our YouTube channel.